Hey, I just hooked up your ride, Issy. I worked the engine with a new air intake, turbo, headers, and exhaust system. Then I dropped her, tightened up the suspension, and added a sway bar for less body roll. Oh, and I upgraded the brakes. And now she's riding on a set of 20-inch shoes. What are you talking about the money for? Do you understand the work that goes into this? The love? You're lost, fool. Hey, I gotta go. So you're a baby's boy, huh? The one he says is into cars. Cool. So what you into, Holmes? I got only the best car. Something fast for the import tuner scene. A truck. Or maybe something classic. Or if you got the ferry, I see. Something luxury. Because here at 619s, we got it all. All aftermarket stuff. Body work and under the hood. Make it fast and make it beautiful. Hey, but I ain't no salesman. So go look through the cars, pick out what you want, and don't try to get funny with the price, because this ain't the ghetto. So, uh, baby says you'd like to drive with some speed, eh? Well, I can hook you up. It's all about car club down here, Holmes. Whatever you buy, there'll be somebody that will want to race it. That's the vibe down here. Beautiful cars and fast driving. Insanity, S.A. So, uh, give me a call, or I'll give you a call. Hook you up with some car clubs, huh? Oh, Fregon, huh? You beat a girl? Well done, Ese. Those tuner kids think you can drive okay. They invited you to take part in the unbeatable Street Racers private club competition. All you gotta do is turn up in a tuner and keep impressing the kids. I know, I know, why bother? But apart from all the fetter you're gonna be lifting off these fools, those vatos got some firme skills. Maybe they can teach you something. Anyway, do what you like. I'm just giving you some advice. You, ese. Listen, I know you like to hang out with the kids. But some vatos like to keep things exclusive. I just had the luxury rollers in here telling me they was looking for new members. I thought about you. Might be out of your league, I don't know. Expensive stuff, but it looks good. And like all cars, there's a way to drive them. The weight to these cars can give you an advantage if you learn how to use it. If you're interested, I can hook you up. Hey, you ain't embarrassed me yet, Holmes. I hate that fool, Carlos. Pacha carnal. If you want to drive something American properly, you're going to have to take on those vatos from the American Royalty Car Club and beat them at their own game. And usually, that would mean racing me, but uh, this baby ain't ready yet. Anyway, these vatos will give you unrivaled access to parts and tricks of the trade. And they like the real deal when it comes to cars. Low riders, hot rides, keeping them straight. It's classic American rides, you see? The kind that you can still feel pop for blocks. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll tell him. Oh, he just walked in. Orale, I tell watch you. That was my homeboy Phil. <laughs> A damn maniac, pero loco. He heard you popping off. Wants to teach you a lesson. You drive whatever you want. He's going to beat you on a chopper. Don't ask me. Don't blame me. But he's good at racing. Even though he is local. I don't know how you deal with the cold, they say. Ah, you get used to it. It's the sun that makes you dumb. All that salt messes with your work. That's my problem. <laughs> Man, your work needs all the help it can get. Shh, whatever. You will. I've been hearing a lot of crap about you. People saying you can actually drive. Oh, this is Vince, the best mechanic in Detroit. If you're ever in the Motor City, you should pay him a visit. Hey, this is Baby's Boy. Ah, right. I know you got good taste in cars, eh? So there's this dub event down in Atlanta, beautiful cars. But more interesting than that, there's gonna be some serious competition. You should go down there, show them what you got. Thought it might be something fun for you. And here, I got a buddy, Apone. If something happens to your ride or you need a hookup, he'll take care of you. I mean, he ain't no Oscar. 
He's better than Vince here. Yeah, who you trying to kid? Yeah, I know I'm number one. Yeah, you're number one. Hey, later, Issy. Para você que ficou até o final do vídeo, vai aí umas curiosidades sobre o Oscar, o dono da primeira garagem de San Diego, né? Bom, ele é o primeiro mecânico do jogo da cidade de San Diego. Ele tem uma amizade aí com os outros dois mecânicos de Atlanta e de Detroit. Como vocês viram aí na cutscene anterior, ele falando dos dois. E bom, a primeira curiosidade é que ele tem uma tatuagem no peito escrito 619. Ou traduzindo aqui, 619, o nome da garagem. Mano, se ele faz uma tatuagem assim no peito é porque ele deve amar muito o seu trabalho. Deve amar muito fazer tunagem de carros, fazer coisas com carro para fazer uma tatuagem disso daí do nome da garagem dele, né? Bom, o Oscar, ele tem um sotaque espanhol mexicano. Isso mesmo, mano. Um sotaque espanhol mexicano. Lá, na né? Tipo como a gente tem aqui no Brasil. Tem o Nordeste, tem o Sul... Tem o, o é, São Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, cada um tem o seu sotaque, né? Carioca, paulista. E o espanhol é a mesma coisa. Tem o sotaque mexicano. Ele falando inglês, ele mistura algumas palavras como esse. E o esse fala alguma coisa assim. Fala feria, fala mucho, pero loco. Algumas coisas assim. Que no inglês, se eu botava no Google Tradutor, ele não traduzia perfeitamente. Então... Tá aí algumas palavras que ele coloca. E vatos. Vato e vatos também, que é cara e caras. Que eu tive que traduzir de um trabalho. E bom, galera. Se você quiser contribuir aqui, mandar aquele pix. Eu criei um e-mail. É, mas só para se você quiser contribuir aí. Com qualquer valor de um centavo para cima. Só se você tiver condições. Beleza, galera? Se você não tiver, só o like, comentário, já ajuda demais. E se você compartilhar para aquele amiguinho, aquele colega que você tem na escola, que você já jogou com ele, que você foi na casa jogar com ele, manda esse vídeo para ele, mano, que deu trabalho. Eu vou tentar postar aí no Shorts. E se vocês quiserem esse vídeo, tiver muito like aí, muita visualização, eu posso trazer a de Atlanta, as cutscene de Atlanta, de Detroit, e as de Tóquio, que as de Tóquio eu nunca vi alguém traduzir, pelo que eu acho, né? Então é isso, galera. Espero que vocês tenham gostado. Se gostou, deixa aquele like aí, se inscreve no canal, mano. E o e-mail do Pix tá aí no comentário fixado ou na descrição, se você quiser mandar. O nome é Mid3Pix. Tamo junto, galera. Valeu, falou e fui!